today is my second day out here in Chiang Mai. So I'm just gonna go to Doe Soetheb. It's a, a Buddha temple on top of a, a mountain. So we're gonna see that and a couple of more sightseeing. I hope you're watching my videos and hope you're enjoying it. Uh, there are plenty more to come from day by day. If you have anything special that you want me to explore or you want me to, you know, talk about, make a video about, do comment below. What you see behind me is the whole city. You have the water canals there. Yesterday there was a marathon. One o'clock in the night. There were people gathered from all over for 21 kilometer, 10 kilometer, 42 kilometer. 51 countries were participating and you'll be surprised to know India was one of them to participate as well. I took some photographs. Qu'est-ce que je vais te nommer? Je vais te nommer l'amour. L'amour à la raison. L'amour et moi, nous sommes un. Something that I really love to do is running. Qu'est-ce que je vais te nommer? Je vais te nommer l'amour. L'amour à la raison. L'amour et moi, nous sommes un. Nous sommes un. I'm heading to Doi Sutep, which is one of the prominent places that you want to visit once you're here in Chiang Mai. Highly recommend uh, maps mean that you can use uh, as an offline map and you can come to the zoo. We should be waiting out here for you. Ideally, they charge somewhere around 30 to 40 baht per person depending, you know, if you're going one way. And uh, if you start early, you, can, you may find them on the streets of Chiang Mai as well looking for the people so you just have to ask them if they are going in the same direction well and fine for you ideally there are a lot of things that you can do out there uh, let me show you on the map okay so this is the entire trail of doi Sotep. you can you know go to the waterfalls as well uh, you can camp pretty much you can go to some of the villages as well so long neck people who come from myanmar so they are in a very small population, they live out here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You have viewpoints and you have a Buddha temple out there. There's altogether a different story about Buddha temple. But nonetheless, this is one of the places that you want to be at. So we go all the way up. You see, there are plenty of souvenir shops around. You can buy stuff as much as you want. I already have a heavy rucksack. Once you reach up to the top, you have to pay an interest fee, which is somewhere around 30 baht. And uh, we'll try to come back from the mountains and see if you can find one of the trails to the waterfall. Once you start the trail, you're welcomed by these snakes and it goes all the way up to the top. You see out here? The girls dressed up for the donations out here. Okay, clearly says that you have to buy a 30 baht ticket. It goes this way. You have eateries around. You can pretty much eat out here. Can I have a ticket for one?
Qu'est-ce que je vais te nommer Je vais te nommer L'amour L'amour A la raison L'amour et moi Nous sommes un Nous sommes un Is that you can inscribe your name on the rope to be wrapped around the pagoda. I can do that. That's the golden pagoda out there. In case you have seen it on, there is a huge similarity uh, between Buddhism and Hinduism. That is but obvious because the Buddhism came from Hinduism. Now if you see, Buddha resembles a lot as Vishnu. The postures that you see out here resembles that of Vishnu. Uh, if you see Sheshnag, which is again, you know, uh, hovering over uh, Buddha, which is again a part of, you know, uh, this story goes back in Hinduism as well. So there is a the stories that goes around with Hinduism as well as Buddhism somehow relates to you know one centric point. Sleeping Buddha. Similarly, you can see in Hinduism we have Vishnu with the Sheshnag, and similarly the Buddha is picturized out here as well. And there are a lot of other forms that you can recognize. Nonetheless, this is one of the beautiful places one must come to course if you're in Chiang Mai. Qu'est-ce que je vais te nommer? Je vais te nommer l'amour, l'amour à la raison. L'amour et moi, nous sommes un, nous sommes un. Slavery abolished by King Rama V in Thailand. King Rama V cooking.
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So if you go round about the temple, you'll find there are a couple of stairs that goes down. Just like this. And it comes from out there. You have to take a circle around and then you'll find a couple of stairs and you have to just follow those stairs. So not necessarily that you have to take the path from the temple. You can also come from the you know parking. Not taking the way that goes towards the temple, but slightly move forward and you'll see that there's a path that goes inside. And perhaps this goes to the waterfall. I'm just gonna go. I see a couple of people coming up from there. I'll talk to them. It doesn't look like a monk. That's a girl. Tarikha. Oh, by the way, they have Vipassana course as well and they do not charge anything. It's based entirely based on donation. So you can come here for like, you know, good uh, four days, seven days, 10 days, 21 days, whatever you feel like. And uh, for the Vipassana, it's kind of difficult because you get early morning breakfast and then you get the afternoon lunch. And after that, there is nothing that you get. So it's a very tedious, uh, you know, process to learn Vipassana for meditation and all. But you can try it. It's a good place though. The path seems closed. However, I see people climbing out here. Ouch. You should be careful. And they have a car parked out here. No wonder it's a concrete road. I just think what this place would be. Anyways, if this car is coming from this way, I'm sure that this road goes somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm gonna find it out. There's nobody and I like it. This is a huge compound and I don't see anybody around. Oh, wait a minute. I think he's one of the Vipassana guys. That's why he's not replying. The other girl was as well. So this is where they keep you. See something out here. Let's see. Hmm. International Buddhism Center Office. This is where we pass our course happens. That's why we are not talking. Because in the past you're not supposed to talk. Special meaning green for possibility or leash money, lavender and blue for good health, red for long life, golden for intelligence, white for good luck, and black for success. Black for success, okay. 